when it comes to making changes, and I'm referring to positive changes in your life, you will always have a choice to make. And that includes bad habits that you've been indulging in for the past many, many years, uh, including pornography, uh, gaming, Facebook, social media, whatever. Whatever addiction, whatever bad habit that you are doing right now, you have a choice to make to get rid of it, to break free from that cycle. You have a choice to make. All the scientific methods, the spiritual methods are there for you to just apply, to just execute. You have chosen to surrender to the situation that you are in at that present moment. So blame no one but yourself, my brothers and sisters in Islam. I remember uh, I have a friend of mine, a very dear friend of mine, who moved from one country to uh, another country. And that another country was a non-Muslim country. And before moving, he told his supervisor that I do not want to engage in any meetings, in any, uh, you know, uh, dinners outside the office hours where alcohol will be served. So they told him, you know what, this is a non-Muslim country and alcohol is just regular and normal and served everywhere in every restaurant. He said, well, that's my condition. That's my choice. Uh, if I want to get that promotion and move from where I am now to another country, uh, that would be my choice. I want to maintain that purity of my faith and that would be not uh, having anything to do with alcohol. They refused that proposal and the brother remained in that country for a year or so and then they needed him again to move to that same country, to that same non-Muslim country. He again put forth the same conditions. He said, I will move provided that I will have nothing to do with alcohol. Guess what, my brothers and sisters in Islam? His, pro his proposal that time was approved. And he, he, and he moved to that country and he excelled in that country. He stayed there for three or four years and he earned a lot of money, mashallah, tabarakallah, may Allah bless him. And he was able to practice his faith according to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he shouldn't do anything with alcohol. And the same apply to pornography. You have a choice to make today. You had, you had a choice to make yesterday. You had a choice to make years ago. But it was you who did not, uh, you know, have that guts to go through the challenges that associated with your choice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran, is paradise better or shajaratu zaqqum or the tree of zaqqum? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you a choice to make. What do you think? Paradise? or that tree of Zakum, and that tree of Zakum prepared for the wrongdoers. Remember, the wrongdoers could be a person who wronged himself by sinning against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that includes falling into pornography and whatever sins associated with it. And, or it could also refer to wrong, uh, wronging others, wronging your wife you know, oppressing your wife by, by not fulfilling her desires, by not fulfilling her rights as a spouse. All these things can be the result of engaging in pornography. The punishment is shajaratu zaqum wal billah. Allah is giving you a choice. Allah is telling you paradise or what will be your choice. So here is your decision for today, inshallah, that you should make. I will choose, tell yourself, I will choose to call a friend to ask him to go for a walk instead of watching pornography. I will choose, I will make a choice to go for a walk or to run or to shut down the internet or to even give up my smartphones for a period of time instead of watching pornography. You have got a choice to make, my brothers and sisters. What would that choice be? My brothers and sisters in Islam, all the previous episodes and the links are to be found below this video. Kindly like them, share them, and we'll see you tomorrow with another episode, inshaAllah ta'ala, titled Purity.